everybody, and welcome to the five-day messenger growth and subscriber growth boot camp. All right, guys, welcome back. I hope you're super excited. Day three, we're here, and today is the real meat and potatoes of this free boot camp. I'm super excited. We're going to be talking about how you can use and leverage m.me links to get a bunch of subscribers, no matter what business you're in. We're also going to be talking about scan codes, how I've used them. Show you guys a quick example of how I used one at a recent event, Funnel Hacking Live. Great event with over 3,000 people. And I was actually able to generate leads for my business in a very new and unique way. So that'll be exciting to share with you guys. We're also going to talk about how we generated over 4,000 subscribers using Instagram's swipe up feature and that m.me link. So this is going to be another uh, interesting kind of jump into a new realm for a lot of you. And uh, I'm excited to be able to share that. The truth is most businesses have no idea how powerful this is. And as soon as it's exposed to them through little examples, somebody it's going to tick for somebody and they're going to come to you and say, would you please set me up with one of those? I need that. Right? So it's pretty amazing. And you'll know how to do all of that at the end of these five days. So I'm super excited to welcome you guys to day three. The first thing we're going to talk about is m.me links. But I want you guys to know, number one, make sure you keep sharing that link. Go to Facebook, the link to actually join our boot camp. Make sure you're sharing it on Facebook. Share it in groups that might find this valuable. Um, and also, you can send it through email. You can send it through Twitter, Instagram, swipe up. Whatever you want to do, you could also use uh, Chatmatic as well since you guys all now have an account. You could also use Chatmatic to drive people to that link, which is super awesome. So tons of really cool ways that you guys can use it. Don't forget to keep sharing. I want to make sure you guys get all the content that you need every step of the way. But at the end of this video, I'm going to give you guys a link to join my free group where you can continue to learn more from me, which is going to be a lot of fun. So can't wait. We're going to go ahead and hop into the computer now, and I'm going to show you guys some live examples. And uh, let's get started. Super impressed. You guys are really moving along with the boot camp. So happy that you guys are all here. What we're going to be talking about today is super exciting. This is going to help you utilize one of the coolest features inside of Messenger, um, which is a Messenger link. Um, I call them an m.me link, and it's basically a link that you can send anybody to that will open a conversation with you and them in Messenger. Now, what you can see on the background here is this is Chatmatic. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys how inside of Chatmatic you can make an m.me link in literally seconds. Um, and so the one thing I want to kind of mention to all of you guys right now is you want to remember that when you make an m.me link, you can make as many of them as you want. So make that experience unique to the way that they're interacting with that link. So again, if you're sending it through an email, you might have one link, and if you're sending it through um, maybe Instagram, which we're going to be talking about later today, um, then you would send it a little bit of a different way. You'd have the message obviously say something separate. So let's go ahead and crack in. Um, you guys can see I'm actually on a fan page here. As you know, in Chatmatic, you can switch between fan pages pretty quickly. Um, and so we're just going to go ahead and go to the campaigns tab. And the first thing that I want to do is actually start a new campaign. Um, you'll see here that we have some of these that are coming very soon. We wanted to give you guys the most important ones first. And an m.me link is certainly up there with me. Uh, super important. So we're going to hit the m.me link and now we hit next. And so you can actually see right away, one of the things that we do is we're going to ask you immediately, do you have an existing message that you want these people to get? Anybody who clicks on the m.me link and hits get started, um, you would actually be able to show them one of these messages that are pre-built in here. It's actually, you'll see, it's right there, I can almost touch it. Um, so these are any of your pre-built uh, messages that you've already made. Um, you'll see how to make those. It's called a general engagement. Um, or anytime you make a new message uh, in a campaign, it's saved here. So for this sake, I'm going to go ahead and make a new message just to show you how easy this is. And I'm going to call this Bootcamp Live M.me Link. So this is going to be the name of the campaign. That tells me whenever I go into my system, this is where I can get the link to this. So I'm going to go ahead and create new, and you can see I'm going to launch the message builder. And what that does is it opens up our uh, Chatmatic message builder. And the first thing that I'm going to do, and, and again, I urge you guys this, I've talked about this before, is uh, typically you're going to go through an indoctrination process here. 
So you might welcome them. Uh, one of the things that I like to do when creating this message is put a picture of my brand up here. Now, obviously, that's a picture of me, my wife, and my daughter, um, but you kind of get the gist. Maybe I could put a picture of my office right here, and I'm going to do a headline that says, you know, thanks for subscribing. Now, again, this message should be unique based on how they're engaging with your bot and the environment in which you sent them in. So if I said something like on Instagram, you're going to see later how we would suggest that you use what's called like an insider's list or a VIP list. So if this was a VIP list, I would say thanks for subscribing. In our description, I would say you're now officially a VIP, right? And I could link this to, you know, maybe my fan page. So for now, I'm just going to link it to Facebook. Facebook.com. And now you get a chance to add three buttons. This is the indoctrination that I was talking about. I might do YouTube channel, right? I can send a new message with that. I'll hit save changes. And you can see over here on the left, it added a new message. Uh, on this one, I'm going to do a my website link. So again, what this actually allows us to do is, and I'm going to just send it right over my fan page. It's basically my website. Those of you guys who don't have a website, remember, you can use your fan page as a website. Um, and uh, what this is going to do is this is going to give us the ability to send everybody that we, that we want over to this sign-up link, right, this m.me link. I can point everybody to this link, and when they subscribe, I now get a subscriber, and I can indoctrinate them to the other stuff that I want them to see. So maybe I have, you know, my Instagram. Now, again, if you're coming from Instagram, you might not have this, and that's why it's important to change these messages based on where they're coming from. So then I can add a little text in here, and I can say, um, for now, that's it. I'll only message you here when there's something really important that you won't want to miss, right? Bingo. That's it. I don't have to do too much more. And those of you guys who think that you've got to have these complicated things, um, you don't, especially when you're welcoming somebody in. If you're offering them something in exchange for subscribing, you want to deliver that here, but you don't have to give them something if you haven't offered it. Um, for the Instagram VIP strategy we'll be talking about later, uh, we always just tell them, congratulations, you're officially subscribed. So, uh, right out the gate, though, you'll notice up at the top, I had this YouTube channel. I had it send a new message. So I'm going to go ahead and edit that next message, and I'm just going to say, you know, maybe uh, here I might have uh, another card that links them to my, uh, my YouTube channel. So let's just say, for sake of having something, this was the image I was going to use. I would say, my YouTube channel... And then I might say here, make sure you subscribe. Now, again, somebody's going to say, well, Travis, couldn't I just link them directly to my YouTube channel when they, um, you know, in its original message? Absolutely you can. But the thing to remember is I like driving engagement, right? I don't mind making them click YouTube channel and then getting this response when they do that. Now, at this point, I'm done. I could do things in the button um, like... Uh, Go subscribe, right? And then link again to YouTube, okay? So now I've got go subscribe. I could now link again to YouTube, letting them know to click the image or that link. I go ahead and hit save and complete. Now, our system is actually going to, behind the scenes, tell you if there's any issues um, and making sure that everything that has a link and has an, uh, an existing message is working right. And I'm trying to figure out uh, oh, I forgot. I did not name it. Good thing I can move this little thing. I have to actually name this whole campaign. This way, if I make another link and another link and another link, I can always come back and constantly find this one. So I might call this one my, um, my boot camp demo VIP message. Right? Uh, again, really identifying what this is. So I go ahead and hit save and complete. It's going to save the engagement to Chatmatic, and this is what we call an engagement. And it's also going to say, hey, by the way, you were in the middle of setting up a campaign. Do you want to go back and finish that up? And you hit yes, please. And now you can actually see if I move this bad boy over here. It's probably a better place for it. Put me on the corner here. Um, it already pre-selected Bootcamp Demo VIP message. I still have my Bootcamp Live M.me link campaign. And so now I hit next, and it literally gives me a link that if I go to this 
right now, it's going to fire off all of these different messages for me and um, obviously make it so that I then get message number one and, and you know message number two if I click the whole YouTube channel uh, piece of it. So what I'm going to try to do here is bring this over. Okay. So you can see it brought over my message. I've got my YouTube channel link where if I click that, it's actually going to send me a response and say, here's my YouTube channel. So now our bot is officially running. We've got the my website link, my Instagram. Um, and again, inside of Messenger, this obviously works much differently. But you can see, and I, I, hopefully you guys can see, I've got the messages popping up on my phone, which is great. So bingo. Now we've got our link. We're ready to go. Normally, what you would probably do is, is mask this with a bit.ly link. Um, whatever you want to do here, that's totally on you. Um, but you can click this little thing, copy it, hit finish. And then whenever you need it again, you just click on this and hit copy m.me link to the clipboard. And um, uh, you know, you'll know you see your statistics start to uh, count up, obviously, as you generate more subscribers. And uh, that's pretty much the gist of it. That's kind of the nice thing is it's that simple. It only takes a couple of minutes. And even with me explaining how to create messages and make an m.me link, um, some of the important questions that I want you guys to understand and have answers to are, number one, you can create as many m.me links as you would like. So you can have one that's just for Instagram, one that's for Facebook, one that's for your business card, one that's for whatever you want. Maybe you have a link on your website. Um, th th there's all different ways that you might use this. What you want to do is remember, when would I want somebody to open a message with me? Maybe it's chat support. Um, there's a billion different reasons why you might use a URL, but just remember, a URL and a scan code, very similar in a lot of ways, and we're about to be covering uh, how to actually make a scan code. Uh, so you'll see they're, they're similar, but the difference is a URL is going to be used anytime somebody's already online, and this is in my suggestion. If somebody's already online and you want to send them over to an active bot, then send them a link to it, right? You don't have to make them go to a landing page and all this, but... If you are in person with somebody, and, and I'll be showing you scan codes here in a minute, and then we'll be taking you behind the scenes of a little experiment that I did with a scan code. Um, but you guys can see in my little camera down here, uh, my business card actually has a messenger scan code on it as well, which fires off and welcomes everybody for scanning my business card. So scan codes versus m.me links. m.me is for online, when they're already online, sending via email, right? You wouldn't send somebody a scan code and say, hey, open this with your phone and then scan it. You send them an m.me link and say, click here. So now we're literally going to jump right into making a scan code, which is equally as easy as an m.me link. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new campaign. I click scan code. I'm going to move this, and I hit next. Right Now you'll see, again, it's going to ask me, hey, what message do you want to send? And just for sake of making this quick, I'm going to go ahead and send this boot camp demo VIP message again. And I'm going to call this my boot camp scan code demo. Now, immediately upon clicking this next button, what we do is we dive into Facebook and we say, Facebook, give us a, a unique code that anytime somebody scans this code, that it fires off that message that we just created. Right? So you could have, again, uh, a lot of real estate agents are going to be using this for individual listings. You can have one scan code for every single listing. Uh, one of the unique things that we do is we also provide you all sizes of the scan code. So when you click uh, all sizes zip, you'll actually get a uh, zip file that when you open, uh, you might not be able to see this because you're looking at my browser only. You get a very big version and you get a all the way down to a very small version. We give you four. Uh, they're called large, huge, large, medium, and small Um because you might not just want this image right here, right? This automatically gives you a 500 by 500 if that's the only one that you want. And so that would be it. I just hit finish, and now it's done. And again, if I ever need to come back to it, I just go here, click this, and download the scan code. When I download it, it's going to give me that zip file again of all of the different scan codes that we can use. So big benefit to scan code is things to remember. Number one, they are programmatic, which just means you can have as many as you'd like. You can have Chatmatic create as many scan codes as you'd like for whatever different purpose that you want. Um, I would suggest that every scan code that you use as often as possible is unique because if you were doing, I mean, think about all the, the potential aspects and how you might use the scan code. Put one on your business card and now when you hand a business card out, 
you're finally in the know as to whether or not your business card is giving you business. If you're sending flyers in the mail, put a scan code on it so that people can scan it and then get the information from you versus having to call you, which nobody wants to do anymore. Um, I cannot emphasize enough the power and potential of scan codes. And what I want to be able to do now is you can see how easy they are, right? You can see how easy they are to make. What I wanted to do is I'm actually going to shoot it over to a clip of a couple of days ago when I was actually preparing for a live event. I actually went to a local print company, and hopefully I can get out of this box. This little circle here. Ooh, now we're really talking. While I was at the print company, I actually had a full-on discussion with the guy who owned it, teaching him about uh, scan codes, talking about the benefit of them. So I wanted to share a little bit of that video with you guys. And remember, day five of this boot camp, you guys are going to be seeing how to get access to all of these replays in case you actually want to be able to go through all this again. And you're going to be able to get access to the full clips of some of the stuff that I'm only able to show you small batches of because we can't stay here for five hours every single day, right? So make sure you guys pay attention for the updates on day five. Right now, we're going to literally shoot back over to um, uh, some of these older clips. You know, here's a code for 20% off your next coffee. You get your loyalty programs. You got all that stuff. And you can build a loyalty program in the messenger. Yeah. Last weekend, we filmed our and had our local event called Bots and Business Live. It was the very first time here in Tampa I've ever run an event, and it was absolutely phenomenal. In, in, in fact, you know what? Let's cue the B-roll. So, that was an awesome event. It was an incredible time. I enjoyed it probably more than most of the attendees, and we had people there who were literally telling us about how one lady made $36,000 off the information. Some people are already growing their business. It was absolutely epic. Right now, I'm going to hop in my car. We're going to head over to Tampa Printing. We're here at Tampa Printing. But I can generate one lead at all with this little method that we're about to try, then it's worth it for everybody to give this a shot. I'll run you through what I'm trying to do. I run a messenger system, messenger bot automation tool, and I don't, you guys know QR codes, right? So messenger has their own QR code that when somebody scans it, it can like respond with a conversation, and it also makes that person a subscriber. So I do a lot of this for like local businesses, for influencers, for all these other people. And what I've noticed is nobody's really doing it for side jet. A few minutes later. Uh, this is exactly what I thought was going to happen, where I'm going to go in and I'm going to talk to this guy whose literal job is to print paper material for people. And he had no idea that this worked. He was gung-ho on QR codes. And now he can actually use a system that people know how to scan. He just had to hear about it. He just had to find out, and this is what we're doing. We're educating people on exactly what that is. I'm going to take in a shirt. He's going to see if he can print on my little Chapmatic shirts here. He's going to see if he can print a QR code on here or my scan code. Forgive me. No QR codes. I am a customer right now, right? I'm going to spend 150 180 bucks probably at this guy's thing. He could easily turn into either, either he's going to be a client or his clients are going to be clients. All I've got to do is do the right thing here. So we're going to go in, spend a little bit of money getting some cool print material made. I'll use it. It'll generate me leads in the future. But I'm more interested now in seeing uh, how geeked up I can get this guy about what we're about to do. So let's go ahead and go back in. Do you have, how many auto responses can you set? At, like, is it just, just the one when they scan? Or do you have the have ability a, to have like... Unlimited. It's, it's like so so I, I tell people this all the time. I'm like people are starting to equate it to email. It's not quite email because Facebook doesn't want it to become a spam folder. We're the only one that has an unlimited version of it. Even if ten people scan this code, they now know that like the flyers you sent to this zip code got ten. The flyers you sent to that one got two. It doesn't balance. They don't send to that one anymore, and it like gives you this point of the old problem was well let's do it with QR codes. And then the next question, do people know how to use that? No. And that 
was where it clicked to me that like Messenger does more than just scan codes. That's the craziest part. Is you can make a landing page where I could send somebody to a landing page and says subscribe to Messenger and it would subscribe them. Now everybody becomes a subscriber. I didn't even get a chance to talk to him about everything else. Seeing how he lit up, it was like, man, this, this is a real thing, and people are actually excited about it. So all the case studies that I've heard about, all the people who are selling homes and all this stuff, that's great too, but it's just the beginning. I'm pumped. I think it was a cool day. actual sticker scan me gotta hope this little lanyard's big enough and I don't know that it is so it's not quite big enough but we will make do I'm just gonna leave it like this as you can see it's hanging off a little bit but we'll manage so what I'm gonna do is, is I'm pretty much going to be flipping this bad boy around because nobody and I mean almost nobody gives a shit about my name yet so I've got that. I've got I got my business cards in my backpack, so that's pretty solid. Also, scannable, as you can see. And the back's kind of cool. It just shows what Chatmatic can do, but got a second scan code there, too. Let's go. Please. I would prefer it. The scan code up there in the top. Oh, we're going to open up a whole new world. <laughs> and I knew you were going to do this because I just started following. Holy cow, it worked. Boom. Oh. This is worth recording because... This is why I need a scan code. This is why you make scan codes. That's the world that we're in. That's why Messenger makes such a big deal because I want to deliver my stuff in the way that you want it. If, if you're a notes guy, I'm a notes guy. I fucking love notes. I will take notes all day, and then I'll never open them again. It's like, I have 20 notes. Which one did I put notes, notes in? This essentially starts your message of our sequence. Yes, and it also makes you now a subscriber of mine. It sends you updates or notifications or whatever. Now you get 100% delivery. And in person, it's incredibly effective. Take notes, people. Can I take a selfie with you? Please. Here we go. Oh, man. Selfies for everybody. <laughs> Welcome back, and in this little clip, I want to show you guys how we're absolutely crushing it with Instagram swipe ups. I think that there's probably too many people that don't know about this, don't pay attention to it, but really, really need to. Um, almost every solid business has over 10,000 subscribers on Instagram at this point. If you don't, it's okay, um, but you might know somebody who does, uh, in which case they could benefit from this pretty greatly. But the swipe up, it does require 10,000 followers, right? 10,000 followers. Um, and they do that most likely so that everybody isn't just always swiping up. They, they want your audience to you know, be of some size. Um, I personally don't have 10,000 followers, but on that note, feel free down below. I'll link you to my Instagram. Feel free to follow me. Uh, it's the... Travis Stevenson, very easy to remember. Feel free to follow me. I post mostly pictures of cool things unrelated to work um, most of the time. I'm like 50-50. Anyways, um, I would love to be able to have this swipe up feature, and I'll explain why. So first, we've got to understand the Instagram ecosystem. For those of you guys that don't know what a swipe up is, it's really the most important link. It's the most important way to get traffic off of Instagram. So... If, you, if you've ever seen Instagram, you know every single individual post, you can't have a link on it, right? They don't let you link your post comments or post content. They don't let you link that out to another site. 
what they do allow is in your profile, you're allowed to have a link, right? So you're allowed to have your profile link. I would also, in a lot of cases, recommend using an m.me link here. But just remember, each m.me link that you create is going to be separate, or you can make them separate. So if I have a profile link, what I might do is say, you know, in Instagram, in my profile, it might say something like, you know, and click the link below to check out, you know, all of my other platforms. And that's one of the things that we've done is we've used the profile link to be sort of our indoctrination link for most Instagram people that we work with. Um, this link works whether you have 10,000 fans or two fans. Um, you can use the profile link. So that's one thing that we do recommend and we do for a lot of our influencers is we have them put an m.me link here. Now, um, a lot of people would, would tell you, and I would agree it to a point, that you don't need to do an m.me here. Um, what I would do on this profile link is either create what a lot of people are leaning towards, which is a, um, a link tree, or using a system like um, we own a platform called InstaMakeMe. If you use Shopify, what it does is it turns your entire Shopify store into a scrollable link so that it keeps people in that frame of mind. That way they don't have to navigate your whole store. But I would keep in mind when somebody's on Instagram, the two things that they are doing, and this is all the internet, by the way, this is a great thing to pay attention to, is tap, right? That's the first thing that we always do, and scroll. Um, people don't like doing anything aside from that. And you might have like swipe sideways, um, but tap and scroll, right? Tap, scroll, tap, scroll. That's what most people are doing on social media. So with this Instagram ecosystem, we just need to understand that the, sw that the profile link, I would probably send them to something that's, you know, uh, you don't have to go m.me, but if you really have a great messenger-related campaign, try it out. I'd love to hear more about what your results are on the profile. I know that we can generate subscribers big time through our m.me links on our profile links. However, the swipe up is, is the favorite right now for us because we don't have to take away from the main goal of whatever it is that your business is promoting. So to use an example that's an exaggeration is if we were working with Disney. Obviously, Disney's not going to want to change Disney.com or whatever it is in their profile. But we can probably get them to do it in a swipe up. And so a lot of the uh, influencers that we're working with, they have no problem changing their uh, setup to where every single day they have a swipe up to their um, VIP list. And that's what I was going to mention here. We use our m.me link to invite people to our VIP list. Now, some people that you might, might want to check out if you're looking for some recommendations on how it's done, um, one of the best when it comes to social media is Gary V. What's up, guys? Welcome to Gary V's First in Line, the Facebook Messenger and text messaging platform that allows you, my community, to either first get things like the sneaker, the book, 50 tickets to a VIP brunch, things that I'm doing that is going to give you an advantage ahead of my social media or an opportunity for me to give you love, a little thank you economy where I work with brands and get you guys stuff for free. Very simply, I've got a ton of momentum and equity in the system, and I want to share with you. So as I get free opportunities and awesome opportunities, I want to give you a shot. Join Gary Vee's first in line now. Gary Vee posts his almost every single day, and he has a specific post that he has, and it's like two or three stories long, and if you swipe up, it takes you to a page where you can actually opt in. It is totally worth going through his system to see how he's doing it because he's obviously leading the pack on, on this. Um, I will say, though, I did send Gary V an email about a year ago asking if he wanted me to make a bot for him. I didn't get a reply. So that's, that's his loss because he only started doing this about two or three months ago. He could have been doing this a long time ago. Anyways, um, the swipe up is a huge benefit for us on Instagram. Uh, what we do with our influencers is we just tell them, hey, you're going to put together a VIP list. I'm going to manage it for you. So again, I'm going to be referring to this as how we do it with our customers because or our clients because I don't have 10,000 followers. My wife does, and we do this with her as well. But what you want to do is when somebody's following you on Instagram, it's because they it's, – it's a friendship in a way. So they're following you because they want to see what you're posting. And the downside is a lot of times the algorithms don't allow them to see that. And so a lot of the influencers that we use uh, or that we work with, 
They have stores. They have YouTube channels. They have Facebook pages. They have all these other platforms. And this swipe up for the um, for our VIP list, it allows people to never miss anything that they don't actually want to miss. Um, so a great example is one of our influencers opened a store, and she spent about two or three months announcing that the store was coming, getting people hyped up, showing them products, right? And then when they finally launched the store, she was like, okay, great, now we've got this messenger list. So we were able to send a message out. And again, you got to be careful, right? We don't want to break the 24-hour rule of when was the last activity. We can't be marketing. Well, what we did instead was we, we sent out a message to our insiders list who deliberately subscribed to get information as to when we were going to be um, opening the store. And so then what we did is we said, hey, so-and-so, it's been a while. The store is finally open. Do you want to check it out? Right? Yes or no? Now when they hit yes, they've opened that new window again. So we use the notification to turn the marketing window back on, right? So we were well within our rules to be able to do this because we first we told the subscribers, this is what you're subscribing for. And then second, we made sure that anybody who was outside of the 24-hour window, that the way that they saw the message was by only after being asked if they wanted to see it, okay? So you just got to make sure that you're doing the right thing there, which is why your skills are now so important to people in this space because there are so many Instagram influencers who could be using this, um, but they don't know the rules like you now do. So you can keep them within the rules, which makes it to where their you know their uh, VIP list stays active, which is amazing. And so it's well worth. And, and we're charging just so that you guys know, we're charging a thousand dollars a month for running people's VIP services, and it's pretty. Um, it's pretty good business right now uh, because these influencers, we've got some really good tricks, and we'll explain this in day five how you can go a little bit deeper in this, but we've got some really good tricks that actually allow us to set these M.me links up for our clients, and our clients never have to pay us the 1000 a month, but we still get it. It's an interesting, different setup. We have two different ways that we do it. One way is we sort of offset the cost in another in another manner, and the other way is we offer to do it for free as long as we can use the list for ourselves, essentially. So there's some really cool ways that you can do this, but I would advise you always stay within the rules, and if you're interested, make sure you guys check out day five because we'll cover a little bit more detail about how you can find that stuff out. But the, the most important thing that I want you guys to take away from this is you've got to treat your... VIP subscribers, whether they're yours or a client, you've got to treat them as if they are that person's best friend. Don't use it as leverage. Don't use it as an email list. Again, and I've, I've obviously reiterated this several times, but we've got too many clients who are asking us, hey, go, we, you know, we just re-uploaded stock on this product. Go send a broadcast. And i got to tell them, that's not what this is for. Right now, we can send a broadcast to anybody who's been active within 24 hours. But I mean, on top of that, let's just do a sponsored message, right? And that's what I think you guys will already kind of be getting the feel for is if you want to deliberately promote something, spend the 20, 30, 50 bucks to do a sponsored message. And what I love is this, guys, if you are doing this for a client, you might even be able to use your own money on this ad and track it and just say, look, just give me a percentage of the revenue. I won't tell you what it takes to set this ad up. Right, and these ads are highly, highly profitable. Uh, I think the last one that we ran was twenty-two thousand percent ROI. Not a joke. And you guys will either already know that, or you'll be learning that twenty-two thousand percent ROI. So the keys that you guys want to take away from here are Instagram swipe up. It allows you to promote this M.me link every single day because every day somebody's going to somebody new is going to either have subscribed to this to this uh, Instagram page or maybe they didn't see yesterday's post maybe they skipped your stories but they'll see them now uh, what I always tell people is I suggest when you're doing a swipe up you want to have one or two stories leading into it and then two or four stories with the actual swipe up and then maybe one or two stories to kind of end it you don't want to start right off with your story being hey sign up for my VIP list um, you do also want to incentivize them with something cool, right? When they subscribe, we can send them a unique message right then. So let's say they subscribe to our VIP list. And I usually um, will send people to the VIP list. And the first thing that we'll do is we indoctrinate them, which we've covered, right? The first, very, 
very first thing I do, they swipe up, they hit get started. Now they're a subscriber. Our bot then sends this, what we call a payload or a message. It sends it to them on the spot. And what we're telling people is, hey, thank you so much. Here's what happens on the Insiders Club, right, or the VIP Club. We're going to be giving you, you know, exclusive offers on this thing and discounts, and you'll know more about this and the timing of that, right? So um, it's a great, great way to be able to deliver that message. Then underneath, we link them and we'll say, make sure you guys check out my YouTube, make sure you check out our store, make sure you check this out. That's an opportunity for you guys. So if you're running a store that has more than 10,000 followers on Instagram, you might use it a little different, right? You might not have a YouTube, so you don't need to indoctrinate them there. You might want to ask, make sure you're following me on Instagram, make sure you're following me on Facebook, and we're then creating a, a bit of a traffic triangle, right? And I, I love this idea where all of our social channels feed each other, and it's a constant rotation of, hey, go sign up for my email list, go get on my VIP list, go, you know, and this way... You're really giving them full access to you, and people really appreciate that. Not only do they appreciate being able to get the information that they want, but when you're working with, um, we've got you know these influencers. When you're working with influencers, um, their audience really does want everything that person has to offer in a lot of cases, and people are you know that's why most Instagram and Facebook celebrities are opening 